Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys are all having a fantastic day. We got a lot to talk about when it comes to Madden 25. As always, if you fellas are new around here, we do post videos just like this one at least three times a day. So if you guys like this video, you find it helpful, or for whatever reason you boys really like me, odds are you fellas are in the right place. Now, kicking us off today with probably the most EA thing of all time. I know a lot of people are getting this pop-up when you guys log into your Madden for the first time or second time. This is like my 12th time logging in today. I'm still getting it. It's welcoming to my Madden NFL 25 trial. Yeah, I own this game. I've played this game. I have this game. I think this is because it's the free try Madden weekend and for whatever reason EA literally cannot hang when it comes to anything. So if you own Madden, you've played Madden, do not stress this. I have no idea why they're doing it, but it's just EA. We got to move on. Yeah, but once I hit I own the game, it's totally fine and I can log back into my ultimate team just like everybody else. Now, today was a pretty cool day. We got the brand new Game Time Limited Edition head-to-head -head restriction lineup mode. I am personally loving that game mode. Definitely a big fan of it. That's not the highlight of the day, though. The highlight of the day took place at like 4 o'clock in the morning, and it was where there was this major training glitch regarding head-to-head. -head. We talked about it this morning, but if you guys went 16-0 in champs, not even 16-0, 16-4, you had to get 16 wins, you unlocked that champs player pack. You could quick sell those players for 100,000 training. Now, of course, as soon as EA got into the office at 10 a.m., boom, glitch was fixed, but they can't push our ultimate alumni's rookie premieres or season one XP tokens on time. That's a, that's a thing. But they did fix the glitch, and now a lot of people are stuck with a lot of training. EA, being EA, decided, let's drop mystery packs. There is a rhyme behind every thing they do. They know what they're doing. They know if they screw up, they're going to drop mystery packs. The first time we got a training glitch earlier in the year with the Season of Boom one coin pack. Next day, mystery packs live in the game. Now, these mystery packs contain the following Legend Pack, Pro Ace Fantasy Pack, Poor Elite Pack, Campus Hero Pack, Game Time Pack, Rushing Pack, and of course, a 70 plus pack. In my opinion, this doesn't sound like the most enticing mystery pack we've ever seen. It does cost 220 training, which is a slight increase from last time, I believe, with just 100 more training. But it's just ironic that as soon as we get a training glitch, EA that day drops mystery packs at 130. It also shows they are significantly more capable of fixing things on time than they choose to be. We talked about that a lot yesterday, just kind of bitching out EA for everything they've just been doing just wrong. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand what this company does, who runs them. I don't know, but I am about to graduate in May. EA, if you want to hire me, I'll probably say no, but it's EA. Shoot or shoot, you guys can hit me up. Now, one thing I did not think I focused enough on in my lineup restriction video earlier today was the fact that you guys can play your players out of position with no penalty. What I mean by that, prime example, play your cornerbacks at free safety, play your strong safeties at cornerback three. You can play these players at any single position they have the availability to do, and their overall goes down, but it's still the same player. Prime example, if you guys have Vernon Davis, play him at wide receiver, and his overall goes down a little bit, but... He's still Vernon Davis. It's kind of cheesy. I don't know how I necessarily feel about it. I know some people are like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. But then other people are like, it kind of defeats the whole purpose. That's the side I'm more leaning towards. But my opinion on anything is take advantage of things while they're there. Don't be the person that doesn't do them because, you know, they're probably not right. Just take advantage of it. It's there. It's not like it's breaking anything. It's just a thing EA left in. I have no idea if they leave it like that or if they meant to do it. I don't know if they meant to do it but now that it's in i don't think they change it but hey we digress no other major glitches for the most part i've seen everybody get their ultimate alumni rookie premieres with you know out any issues the only thing we are looking out for probably next monday would be my best guess is that make right ea did promise us for not getting our cards on time now my favorite time of the nighttime videos is actually our market talk and yeah, the market took a little bit of a turn today. First up, Tyreek McAllister and Tony Jefferson. Last, I guess yesterday's preseason team of the week cards still holding strong. McAllister is under a milli. Tony Jefferson is the best strong safety in the game. I don't know how long that'll be the case. I believe we're getting Sean Taylor this weekend. 
Nate Wiggins and Xavier Worthy are two of the best cards in the entire game and their price is respectfully so. Two million for Xavier Worthy. I don't recommend you pay that, but he is worth every penny. I don't think Mike Vick gets much cheaper than 789,000 coins. That is a fantastic price if you want a lefty quarterback. Vick is definitely your guy. Same thing with Keekly. He's been sitting at 600k for about... I don't know, a week or not, week or so now. So if you want Keekly, probably pick him up today. You don't think he gets any much. He doesn't get any lower. There's no way he goes up. He could get a little bit cheaper, but if you want him relatively soon, now is the time to pick him up. I don't hate that pickup. Now, Nick Herberg, Derek Stingley. Derek Stingley is significantly tanking. I told you guys, sell off Stingley. He is going to continue to drop. I would keep selling off my LTD corners. We just keep getting better and better corners. That's what EA likes to do. They like to drop limited time corners. And when we get one, the other one drops. JJ McCarthy has dropped almost 600, 700,000 coins since two days ago. Fellas, I told you to sell off your McCarthy's. I hope you listen because now he's under 800,000 coins. Trevor Lawrence is a fantastic buy for 400K. Love that card. Velas Jones is decent. I think he's a good buy, but better receivers at 400K. I don't want to pick up any coaches. Taking a look at some more LTDs from the Campus Hero promo. Chase Young, Justin Simmons, Keon Coleman, great buy. Justin Simmons, not so much. Chase Young, not even the best right end in the game. Fantastic buy right here is Micah Parsons for under 400,000 coins. This card has been a game breaker for me. I love this card. CJ Stroud, haven't personally used, so we're going to skip over him. Darius Slay, sell. We keep getting better and better corners. He's not even the best corner in the game. He was the best corner in the game for like three days. Kyle Juice. We'll just keep moving. Vernon Davis, the Duke, 1.2 mil. He was 1.5 yesterday, or not yesterday. Yesterday, he actually took a major fall. He was like 1. like 1 yesterday, back up to 1.2, almost 1.3. Don't hate the buy, like the sell a little bit more. LT, this card sucks, sell him off if you even have him. Brock Bowers, 360,000 coins. I like the buy. I do think he's probably the third best tight end, fourth best tight end in the game. Mel Blunt, I would sell. I think it's potentially becoming a buy time when he goes to about 750, 700K. If you really want Mel Blunt, don't hate the buy. He won't be a top tier card at that point. He'll be a top tier card. He won't be the best corner in the game anymore. So he's an LTD. He should continue to drop. Miles Garrett, like the buy at 534,000 coins. I don't know if he's fully worth every penny, but if you want Miles Garrett, now is buy. Oh my god, our season of boom cards are taking a slight drop. DJ Moore finally under 500. Dexter Lawrence, those cards have been sitting steady there. I think they will continue to drop a little bit more. I don't hate the buy right now, but I think they will get lower. Three cards, I love the buy. All three of last week's team of the week. I think they continue to drop, but either way, still really good pickups right now. My favorite pickups of the week were Campus Heroes this morning and still right now. PS2 should be 300,000 coins. He is 260. Love that card. Don't love Joe Alt because I don't like spending that many coins on my offensive line. Malik Neighbors, though, great buy. Still would wait out on Marshawn Lynch. I think he will get cheaper. Mean Joe Green, best defensive tackle of the game. I like the buy. I would wait until Monday to pick up any of these AKA cards, though. They all should continue to drop. Legends, we have Legends coming on Saturday. If you want to pick up any of these Legends from the sets, I would wait. If you want to pick up any of the LTDs, I would probably also wait. I told you guys to sell off Lawrence Taylor about a week ago. He is now 800,000 coins. He was selling for 1.1 mil a few days ago. Well, we're almost done here because we got some cool Mutt League. Season of Boom cards are continuing to go down. Still not fully locked in to buy yet. I think Trevon Diggs is a buy, but that's pretty much about it. Maybe Travis Etienne, but I still think that Marshawn Lynch is better, and I think it is worth spending the extra 200 to 150,000 coins for that top tier card, and we keep trying to look at coaches. I believe that's everything I wanted to talk about. We did talk about these ultimate preseason cards yesterday. They were like 500k. They're continuing to drop. I would sell them off as well. Now, these 85 overall aka cards they're gonna drop probably under 200,000 coins on monday so if you want to pick up any of those cards that would be the time same thing for these 85 overall legends they will continue to drop on saturday that was my nightly buy sell hold let's slide on over to twitter so there isn't much except we're getting sean taylor this saturday with legends for whatever reason they switched out the eric barry that we were supposed to get with this sean taylor i am super excited for this card i'm a commanders fan i hope we all know that by now I say that probably more times than I probably should. Love the Commanders. Love every single Sean Taylor card we get in Madden. Going to be one of the best cards in the game. Should be an 87 overall. Going to be a stud. I also know what it's going to cost to build the sets. You got to exchange three 
82 to 83 overall legend players and one 79 to 81 overall legend player to receive an 84 overall legend hero fantasy pack and exchange one 84 overall legend sean taylor and then four 84 overall legend heroes to receive your 87 overall legend sean taylor basically we're getting an overall increase with legends so sets do have to jump up a little bit i don't know what this does to the market we'll look at this weekend but just keep that in the back of your mind that at, you know, legend overall increase is pretty much it. That is everything we got. Muntleaks did let us know that that Puka Nakua that we talked about from the game time promo is still on the back end, but nothing has, you know, shown up with it. Potentially a part two card. I still think that could be a potential make right for us. Also, just wanted to let you guys know that I will not be here this weekend. Don't worry, though. I have pre recorded three to four videos Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You're going to get plenty of top 10, the best players at every position. Don't worry. You're going to get enough of me this weekend. It's college football season. I'm going to a different college football game every single weekend. Tennessee is currently away, but if you guys can guess what college football game I will be at this weekend, I will slide you a $15 to $25 gift card over on your Xbox or PS5 or whatever console I guess you play on. Nintendo Switch. Do we have any Switch heads on here? That is everything I got, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you boys tomorrow with, I promise, to be the greatest video you boys will probably watch on YouTube. But until then, peace, boys. Have a good one.